All right, what's up? Um, I just decided just kind of, I guess, over the last little bit that I'm going to kind of uh, tweak my YouTube channel just a little bit. I'm still going to include fishing videos as often as I can because that's really kind of my thing now. Although training, um, lifting, and, and, you know, for strength and whatnot is still a big part of my... Uh, life like I still really enjoy it um, it's, it's pretty darn close to fishing um, although I've recently said if I had to give up one completely it would be lifting um, as hard as that would be um, you know fishing has always been something that I really 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 enjoy doing and uh, so if I had to give up one it would be lifting but the thing is I'm still uh, more or less in love with both of them so and I feel like I have um, still a decent amount to offer with the fitness um, so what I want to do is I'm basically changing my channel to uh, fitness and fishing because I'm still doing both and I, I like I said I feel like I have a lot to offer on the fitness side of it um, so I guess the first video that I'm gonna make that's fitness related under my new channel will be um, Eat whatever you want, pretty much whenever you want to eat it. Um, loosely track your macros and calories, and still <laughs> a trim up, gain strength, do both, or um, maintain a pretty high level. Of fitness or body composition muscle mass whatever I'm basically gonna kind of in a nutshell explain what I do and what I've been doing recently to be able to achieve those things um, and you know I think that I have a fair amount of subscribers left that still you know kind of are in the fitness uh, category I guess they still watch my channel I think because I've maintained most of them even though I've switched over to a fishing type thing but I still enjoy it so I figure I might as well share um, so and I'll also include some training videos like uh, you know right now I'm, I'm getting ready to hit this uh, for a set of I don't know how many we'll see we'll see how many I can get it's just a hair under 400 pounds it's a 37 pound bar it's a piece of junk um, but I'm gonna do some do some work with it, and uh, so in, within my my videos where I share some knowledge, I'll I'll um, throw some uh, training clips in there as well because I really feel like that's the main reason why my channel grew in the first place was just training. So let's go ahead and do that right now. So here we go. I'm squatting high bar these days because I just like to. Uh, and my just overall mobility and, and back flexibility has really suffered due to sitting in the kayak a lot. So high bar is just really better for me right now. Um, so yeah, that's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna see how many reps we can do with this. Make sure our clamps are on there because you know, that's important. You don't wanna dump the weight in the garage. All right, let's do this. Throw some pauses in there. Whew, every now and again. So, 
Uh, I guess before this bench over here, uh, how do I um, maintain a decent level of fitness comparatively, you know, to the general population? Uh, strength, even lean up. You know, how do I do that while I eat whatever I want, whenever I want, and I really don't count calories or macros. Um, I kind of have a ballpark idea in my mind about, you know, what I'm getting, and you know, I will if I go out to eat. Every now and again, I'll look up the nutrition facts to see, hey, you know, how much protein am I getting? Um, because really, with what I'm doing, I would say that's the number one thing: is make sure that you're getting the protein that you need. Um, so for me, you know, that's between 180 and 200 grams. I'm about 210 right now. I'm 5'7", if you're wondering. Um, so, uh, yeah. So making sure that you get adequate protein is pretty important, I think. Uh, you know, you, you want to try to do that as much as you can. You know, I've, I've heard it said, and I'm quoting someone else, it's, it's really what you do 90% of the time, not 10% of the time. So keep your protein in check most of the time, and I think you're good to go. Otherwise, you know... I don't, I don't really track what I'm eating. Um, I make sure I'm getting enough, and like if I know if I have a, a workout coming up where I feel good and I'm feeling like, okay, I'm really gonna push some weight, and maybe I'll eat a little bit more the day before just to make sure my glycogen's topped off. But uh, otherwise, you know, <laughs> I snack all the time. Um, I drink plenty of beer. You know, I drink liquor. <laughs> I mean, I just, do what I want, like you, you know, you, you get one life, and uh, I'm no longer a competitive powerlifter, but I still enjoy being strong, you know, and maybe a little bit more muscular than the average guy at the gym. So I push myself. Like I think that's the other aspect here that you got to consider is if you're gonna do what I do, eat what you want when you want, really loosely, if if that track what you're eating, you got to push yourself in the gym, you know. Um, and I only train three days a week. This week I'll be training four because uh, I, I normally train Monday, Tuesday, Friday, or Saturday. And sometimes those days flip, so I usually train three days a week. So that's, you know, the, the first uh, day of the week I'll deadlift and do some kind of leg movement, like leg press, and then I'll finish up with some hamstrings and some calves. And like five to eight minutes of cardio on the stationary bike, depending on what calorie burn I'm trying to hit for that day. And that really varies too. It's just kind of whatever I feel like doing. Um, and then on Tuesday or Wednesday, I'll go in and I'll do chest, triceps, biceps, and back, which will consist of bench press, you know, lots of push downs, maybe some close grip, lots of curls. And then I'll do pull ups and one or two other variation of a row for back thickness. And then my last day, typically is darn near a full body workout where I'll squat, um, then I'll hit some kind of dumbbell work or I'll hit the hammer strength machines, uh, typically to work incline to get my upper chest um, or pec minor. And again, I'll hit arms again, triceps and biceps, and then I'll hammer my shoulders with a lot of light high rep uh, work to just pack as much blood and to, into my shoulders as I possibly can for that pump. And then I'll probably hit calves again, maybe some abs and another five to eight minutes of cardio. So that's typically what it looks like. Although this week I'm squatting tonight so that tomorrow I can get in and out of the gym quickly because if I do squats, some chest, some triceps, some biceps and shoulders, that's a long workout. And so sometimes today specifically I want to get some of that knocked out and then be able to, uh, get in and out of the gym quickly tomorrow. But typically I do that three day split that I just described. Um, and put, I push myself, like I work hard. Um, you know, I, I don't necessarily go to failure, but I challenge myself, you know. Progressive overload has always been something that I've uh, strived for. Even when I didn't really understand the concept, it's like, okay, last week I did this much, but this week I either gotta do more than that or I gotta hit more reps. So, you know, push yourself past what you've done in the past or you know match the intensity as far as what you have on the bar but do more work so um, that's really what it boils down to is you know push yourself in the gym 
and make sure you're getting enough protein. And as long as you're not a complete slob when it comes to eating and you do practice some kind of moderation and portion control, you can pretty much do whatever the heck you want. I mean, I spent a couple of years weighing out every single thing that I put in my mouth. So I'm really good at knowing, hey, that's about four ounces of meat, or you know, that's about a serving of pasta. So I'm probably doing a little bit more calculation in my head than I give myself credit for because of all that time spent weighing stuff out on a gram scale and just getting used to the sizes and portions and knowing what's in it. But I don't touch a scale anymore, you know, I don't count anything. Um, but I keep my protein consistent. I push myself in the gym and I know when to say, okay, that's enough. I had a big piece of cake. It was good. I don't need to have four more, you know? Um, and following that exact advice right there, I've dropped 20 pounds since, uh, I guess this time last year. And yeah, it was slow, you know, but it was consistent. And another thing that I did when I wanted to, you know, trim up just a little bit more, I was more active. I watched the steps on my iPhone, the health thing. You know, I had my iPhone in my pocket. You know, I tried to hit 10,000 a day. Uh, I did, okay, so normally I would do three to four minutes of cardio, try to hit a 50 to 60 calorie burn pretty fast. And then instead of doing that, I was like, all right, I'm trying to, I'm trying to lean up just a touch more. So let's, let's bump it up to hitting 100 calories every time we get on that bike. Sometimes we hit it as fast as we can, and other times we take our time and do it about 10 minutes. But basically, if you're not tracking what you're eating and you've kind of leveled off and you're kind of staying the same as far as body composition or weight, you know, obviously try to be consistent. Even though you're not counting, cons you know, try to stay consistent with what you're actually eating. Um, even though you're not really counting and you don't really care as much except for protein, then just do a little bit more activity and watch the scale, you know, pay attention to how your clothes fit. And obviously the mirror may even be the best tool right there. It's like if you start seeing veins pop out in places you didn't see before or you see a little extra definition here, you know you're making progress and you can keep doing what you're doing without having to be anal about counting every single calorie, gram of protein, carb, or fat. And that's worked really well for me. So I'm hoping to be able to share some more stuff like that um, as I transition into my fitness and fishing channel. So I hope you guys enjoy. Please, uh, please stay with me. I'm trying to do my best to get the fishing stuff out there and continue with the fitness and training. Thanks.